Hey everybody, it's your host Cyber Gaming Studios. Today's video is something really special because I've been requested, I've been requested many times about this, and I think a lot of people want to play music on on PS4 Mobile Play and not having the hassle of going to Spotify or anything like that or something like that, and have their own choice of preference of what music they should hear. Now, there are two different types of, of ways of playing music. You can play music on your Android or specifically play uh, music on Spotify using your, your PS4 or Android. Now, this method is pretty much the simplest method, and um, this doesn't require root to do, but if you want to install PS4 Remote Play, just click, just be sure to click the end, of the, the end screen on the above um, what you'll see on after the end of this video. Um, you can also click in the link in the description if you want to check that video out to show you how um, there will be two separate videos, um, one without root and one with root, so you guys can check that out and instantly find a way to install PS4 Remote Play. And, but this video is not to how to install it. This video is just a simply to be able to um, play music while playing video games. Now, this is really, really exciting because this is something that a lot of people wanted and I think a lot of people should take advantage of. Now, remember that I'm gonna to talk to you guys about through related this and I don't have my, my speaker on just because there, with this with this um with this meth method, I don't wanna get copyright striked and there's since there's not gonna be you no know, audio of music, um no one can file a copyright strike even if it's visuals because there's no there's no audio coming in it. For us. So so that's that's pretty much a good thing. You'll just hear my voice and that's pretty much what we want to expect. Um, I can't go into remote play because it just shows a black screen when I go and connect to my PS4, when I do record with a recording software um, from my Android, which kind of sucks. I'm still figuring out a way how to do that. And then once I do figure out that, then I'll instantly um, make a tutorial on how to do it. Um, but right now, as of right now, I don't have a method at this point for that, but I do have a method for this. So what you need to do is you need to download the tool, you need to download PS4 Remote Play and you need to make sure it has files installed. And again, if you want to install this and install it to be able to work on your Android device, um, I have two tutorials out, one without root and one with root, and I'll have those links in the description or you can check out the both of the both um, both uh, end screens at the end of this video to, to select which one you want. Um, so yeah. So as well, you're gonna need Pandora or Spotify. Now this Pandora, as you can see right here, is a heavily modified. I modified it to be able to have no ads, meaning that you can you can play as much as stations as you want. No ads will pop up, high quality HD, everything is so, so, so well made, and you can instantly listen to music on the go while you're playing PS4. Now you can play PS4 and as well, I can just exit out of here and right here, you can, you can see, you're gonna see my recording stuff for a second, guys. And you can see No Love is playing right now, but there's no music because I've turned down the audio so the audio won't show up into this video. So you can actually as well go into PS4 Remote Play and launch it at the same time. I use this a lot, especially if I want, don't want to have my TV on. This saves a lot of power and it just brings a lot of joy to a lot of people's face when they figure, when you guys see this. I bet you got your faces are like, oh, that's so cool. But I know it's pretty cool, guys. And I know that's something that a lot of people wanted to do. So this is a, this is a good way to bypass Sony's um, way of restricting you of playing music while playing remote play and i think they're doing this they did this because they didn't want the connection to from ps4 remote play and spotify to be interrupted note that this if i recommend doing this while you're on wi-fi then you're doing this doing this on cellular network just because it is a more stronger network because as you can see that pandora does require internet as well to even um to be able to be listen to music. And also the PS4 Remote Play as well. I recommend you guys to connect um, your PS4 Remote Play directly to your, your console instead of Wi-Fi. It's because since Pandora is going to be using your actual router, you you want to separate that. So you want to ensure that that um, that they're both connections are separated. So instead of using, I know they're both going to be using say Wi-Fi signals that, but 
still you just want to connect directly to your PS4. Um, if you guys don't know how to connect to your PS4 directly, I'll have another tutorial on how to do that later, and you guys can instantly do that if you if upon request. But um, that's how pretty much how you can listen to music. You can actually connect. As you, I can't, I don't have, I can't connect because I don't have the PlayStation app installed. So like, it was gonna ask me and take me to browser, and it's gonna be all the same old process. So that's pretty much it. So uh, so that's basically it. You can listen to music. As you can see here, I'm right here, and you can you can start, and the music will still play. If you have a stereo system that you can plug your 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 phone or tablet to in or device. You can listen to, to full audio with with thing, and I recommend if you want Pandora modified, no ads, no thing, completely free. You don't have to pay for anything. You can skip as many um, stations um, or tracks as you want. No, no, uh, no, no restrictions, no limitations, or anything like that. Full audio, HD audio. Just like if you had Pandora one, completely free, then you can get it for free, completely free. I'm not charging anything for it uh, because it's completely for free. It's it's something that you, you don't have to pay for. Um, right in the link in the description. Just click the link in the description, and you'll instantly get. You'll be able to get this AP, this um, the APK for Android. Unfortunately, this is only for Android, and I'm so far away for iOS devices. I don't know a method for that. If you're looking for um, if you're looking for a PS4 Remote Play, I will look in, in, into it with um, PS4 Remote Play on how to install it with Android iOS. By the way, as 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 I'm saying it now, I'm not really a big Android. Uh, I'm not Android. Um, I mean iOS fan. I'm more of an Android fan than an iOS fan. So, and I don't have any iOS devices. I only have one iOS device, which is like an iPod fourth generation, and it's. Not the best. It had like four point two one firmware, and it was like you can't barely run it, run anything on that thing. But other than that, that's pretty much how you actually listen to music. I'm sorry if I didn't can be able to play the music while doing this, but it's because of copyright reasons. But if you guys do want Pandora, and if you do want the PS4 Remote Play and to be able to install it, click all the links to all this is in the description. If you want to see the tutorials for PS4 Remote Play with and without root, just click the end screens on the top, right where right right before this video ends, and then you're pretty much done. Thank you guys for watching, and I hope you guys did enjoy, and uh, and I hope you guys see you soon in the next PS4 Remote Play tutorial. My next tutorial is going to be something really cool because I think a lot of people would want this. But let me suggestions. What do you guys want me to show on how to do things for PS4 Remote Play? And what do you guys need help with? Um, such as use a DualShock 4 wireless controller and how to connect one. I can do that, a tutorial of that upon request. But other than that, that's pretty much all I have for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed this. If you guys, you guys can use any as well, you guys can use any kind of... Um, music playing. You can listen to your own music. You can listen to Pandora. I listen to Pandora because I can play a game without having to worry about selecting a station. I can play it on shuffle and then all of my stations that I create and it plays my favorite songs as I want. And if I want to select, say for example, I want to change the song, instead of literally having to just pause my game, I can just bring down the drop man down menu and just press the skip button and that's it. That's all I have to do, and that's it. Boom. That's it. I'm done. And I can continue whatever I'm doing. It's the same way as you're doing a PS4 where you have to press and hold the PS button to to skip a track. But that's pretty much the base, same basics. But this one, PS4 Remote Play, will not limit you or turn off Pandora at all. I mean, if you start off, at first it may, it may, but then it will continue again. So don't worry about it, guys, if, you, if your music does stop temporarily, but it will continue. That's completely normal if it does happen. Majority of the time, 90% of the time, it doesn't happen, but there are but there are chances it can. Just remember that notifications you get through your device, such as calls, um, text messages, or, or YouTube notifications, can pause can pause the music at all at, at once. So the best thing you want to do is click "Do Not Disturb" if you have live popping up, and that's you're all set to go. So just remember that notifications getting from other applications can cannot slightly temporarily pause Pandora until a until that notification is completely either done or or just gave you notification and then disappeared and then it's just showing your notification and that's it. That's all I have for this guys for you guys and thank you guys for watching and I hope you guys did enjoy. Don't forget to drop a like if you did enjoy and you found this useful because it's something that I've been experimenting on my own tablet for and I've been using this my tablet so that I'll experimenting with this so I can improve it and have a wonderful experience for you guys to enjoy as using PS4 Remote Play so you're not that limited to PS4 Remote Play and you can use it as much as you want keeping the capabilities of your Android device and as well um, your PS4. 
Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Be sure to hit that. As I said, be sure to hit, see, as you can choose to be able to see on your screen right now, two end screens, one that will have both um will have both uh both tutorials with and um, without rule if you want to install PS from Remote Play. And as well, you probably will see on your right your left left um screen of your of your uh of the video a playlist you can actually choose from and as well a and as well the best um the best video for you to watch next if you want to watch it. But other than that, thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.